Who created you and me? Do you still remember? Do you also remember how God created everything? The first day, night and day. The second day, sky and clouds. The third day, lands and plants. The fourth day, sun, moon and stars. The fifth day, birds and fish. The sixth day, animals and people. I promise you to tell you how God created people. That's what you will hear today. Have you ever been playing with clay? Maybe you made it yourself with mud. Then you can make a dolly, right? But that dolly can't walk, can't talk, it doesn't live. But do you know what God did? He took dust and he made a man. And then he blow breath in his nose. And then this man started breathing. He was alive. That was the first man on earth. His name was Adam. And like God created Adam, he also created you and me. Do you want to know where Adam had to live? He lived in a very beautiful garden created by God. Look at the trees full of fruits. Whenever Adam wanted, he could eat from the fruits, oranges, apples. God also had a job for Adam to do. God brought all the animals to Adam and he could look at them and give them a name. Aha, he said, you with your long neck, I will call you a giraffe. And you with your stripes, I will call you a tiger. Do you like animals? They can be like a friend. You can pet them, but they don't talk to you like we do to each other. That's also what Adam saw. He saw that the animals were together, a male one and a female one, but he, he was alone. And that's also what God saw. And he said, it's not good that the man is alone. I will make someone for him as well. Then God made Adam to sleep. And then during his sleep, he took a bone out of his body, a rib. Do you know what is a rib? Can you feel it? God used the rib of Adam and created a beautiful wife out of this rib for Adam. When Adam woke up, he was so happy. Now he had a real friend. Adam and Eve lived in paradise. It was such a beautiful place and they had such a nice life. No sorrow, no pain. It was all perfect, all done by God. God is so great. God is almighty. God is so creative. He also made you. Wouldn't you like to glorify God for what he has done in the past, but also what he has done now? When you walk around and you look at the beautiful butterflies or the beautiful birds or you see flowers, just remember it's all done by God. God himself enjoyed as well when he was seeing what he had all created. And he said, this is very good.